Okay, so here's the situation with this gun. When I got it, it's a Browning BAR Mark III. When I got it from the, uh, it just, it didn't quite cycle right. And oh, I found it very frustrating. So you shoot handle it. So I went out and bought a bunch of different ammunitions. Um, top shelf, bottom shelf, and everything in between. And it wasn't cycling any of it. 150 grains, 180 grains, 165s. So I know this thing has a tunable gas block, but I couldn't find anything online about the, how to do that. And um, so ultimately through trial and error, I have figured out a solution to that problem. And I'm just going to briefly discuss it real quick now, and then we'll go into a more uh, uh, quick little video here. It's not going to, it's not much to it, man. All right, so if it's not cycling, all right, if your shells are uh, not being ejected all the way or short stroking and everything, uh, it's, it's, it's fixable. So calm down. I freaked out for a couple of days. So what you'll need is a couple of tools to take off your, uh, first what we'll do is we'll take off. This isn't going to take long. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day while I do this. It's probably a little hotter than I should be working on it on right now as far as uh, I just got done shooting. So first I'll take off just one second there. Put that screw out. Take a little, take off the Take off the uh, lug here in the front. Should have done this before, huh? But anyway, yeah, this is a nice day out. Uh, just shooting some guns, trying to get ready for a trip out west. And this uh, Hell's Canyon BAR Mark III has been a really comfortable gun. I installed a, an aftermarket cheek rest by Blizz Tech or some shit. I don't know, they're out of fucking Sweden. Uh, good stuff though works really well. All right, so back to it. Here we go. All right So once you get to this point You remove your forearm I'm gonna shift around here so you can see this so This right here this screw here is your adjustable gas block port so if you screw this all the way in and then back it out two turns that's going to be at about 50%. When I did that, this, this rifle uh, cycled enough to, to pull the action back, but not eject the round. So then I went ahead and backed it off another full turn. And at three full turns backed off on here um, from being bottomed out and then bounding, you know, three, tighten it all the way in and then back it out the three turns and it ejected everything I did. Now on the other side of here is this set screw right here for that. So you need to loosen this side up first. Adjust your the screw on the other side here that we just talked about, this guy here, and then tighten that screw here back up. And when I did that and started tuning that slowly on and off, I got all my uh, hand ammo, my hand loads, everything that goes through here now cycles perfectly. It just took a little fine tune. And I know this from working on a lot of ARs that sometimes they can be finicky bitches when they first start up and just getting the ports tuned and, and getting the gas block tuned. Nice thing to have about this, because if you want to, if you ever wanted to say run it in a suppressed configuration, you know now that you can also tune your gas block. This is the first generation of the BARs that has a tunable gas block, and I'm absolutely impressed with how quickly I was frustrated with it to how quickly I'm not frustrated with it. And it's a browning, so that's the way it should be. So once you make your adjustments and everything is, and you're happy with it, and it's doing everything that you want it to do, then uh, recommend taking some fingernail polish and you know putting it over the ends. So a quick 30 second review. The slot headed screw on the right. The indexing Allen head on the left. Loosen up the indexing Allen head on the left. Uh, about, about, it should be loose already, but I'd back it almost all the way flush with the, the threads. This guy here, bottom them out. Then back them off two and a half turns. Go back over here to the other side. Tighten that little Allen thing down again. Down about two full threads into it. Assemble and shoot and see how you do. And if that doesn't work, then take it apart. Do it again. Make it three turns. You're going to have to adjust this a few times. But every time you adjust this, um, 
Make sure that you're you know, double checking the other side too and it should be down about two threads. It's usually loose anyway, but you're gonna wanna put some uh, fingernail polish and shit in there to keep that together. So if you got frustrated, I hope this helps you. I couldn't find shit on this rifle, on a Browning Mark III BAR, uh, because it's, I think it's just too new. And uh, all the forums I look at, nobody was talking about this gas block. So maybe this will help somebody. Right on, guys. Well, I'm going to get back to it. Um, and thanks for uh, watching my video. I'm going to be heading out west here soon to go after an elusive mule deer. So big one, I hope. And then uh, you guys... Have a great hunting season. Be safe. Hopefully I know that COVID shit fucked with you guys.